So, are you lost? Because I am. <laughs> so get PG routing to find your way. This is a long presentation. It has over 60 something slides. So we're going to go a little bit fast. I have lots to read. So that's me. Uh, those are my two icons. So if you see any of those, then you know that you found Vicky. Okay, I'm the main developer of PG Routing. And what are we going to be doing today is going to have a review about PG Routing. This is the PG Routing logo. And what is PG Routing? PG Routing is an OS Geo community project, but we don't want to be that anymore. Because our dream is to become an OSGEO project. You can find us on GitHub. We appreciate any contributions from our users or developers of other, of other open source software. So, PG routing in GitHub, you can find also OSM to PG routing, which that is the logo. You can find PG routing layer, and you can find this new product that we have that is VRP routing, that it's for solving vehicle routing problems. Now, all this software is open source, and well, uh, you can. These two in particular, which is PG routing and vehicle routing problems, are libraries, which means that it only contains functions that you can work with. And they're on a PostGIS enabled database with Postgres. So, uh, oh, this is a PDF. Okay, so in PG routing, you normally use it to find routes. So that's the short sentence. PG Routing is an open source project that it's a library in a, that works on a PostGIS, Postgres enabled database. And now we're going to see the little details about OSM to PG Routing, PG Routing and vehicle routing problems. So let's start with OSM. Without their data or without data, my software is useless. So we need something to convert the data from OSM to be usable in PU routing and in vehicle routing problems also. Uh, note that it's completely different from converting to a, to use, for example, PG to a, sorry, OSM to P, to, to PGSQL because of the characteristics to run the PG routing algorithms. So, this converter only works right now for OSM. Uh, type data uh, file types. It doesn't work for PBF or O5M. And our dream for like two years from now is to use um, uh, Osmium tools to also be able to process OSM, PBF, and O5M. Now, that's the input. Now let's talk about the output, which is uh, we want to, we, we're using QGIS, and we have a small plugin named um, PE Routing Layer, which is a very basic plugin, is mostly to experiment, and it's uh, very small currently. So, 
uh, this is what can be used at this moment in this PU routing layer. And we have 30, 73 functions to go <laughs> to have them in this PU routing layer in version 3.3. And this weekend, we're going to release version 3.4, and then we'll be, ha we'll be behind 79 functions to add into PU routing layer. So really, any contribution to PG routing layer is going to be greatly appreciating. Um, now let's talk a little bit about vehicle routing problems, which is derived from PG routing. We still have in PG routing the pickup and delivery, and I think it's called one depot. So those functions, exist also here, but in here we're starting to add more tools to solve fleet problems, basically. That's why it has two vehicles, like school buses. Um, and, well, these kind of problems uh, are for, this is a garbage truck and it goes through, you can imagine it moving. <laughs> this is a PDF, sorry. So, um, those are containers and it has to go and pick up all the containers. So that kind of problems is the ones that it solves in a complete city, that's a complete view. And now we can go into what is PU routing? So PU routing has the it wants to solve the problem of I am here and I want to go there. How do we do it? Well, if we put this to a, to a kid, he will say, "Well, well, just draw a line. That's your way to go." But then we have PG Dumbo, when we put it in context. We need graphs to have this context. And graph has segments and nodes. And normally, graphs represent roads. Basically, that's why the name PU routing, we want to route pedestrians or vehicles, but not only that, um, that other graph, the, it's the same graph. A graph doesn't have to do anything with geometries, and because of that we can solve problems like personal relationships. Those who, who can see, look at the colors, <laughs> we're open to anyone. Or we can have, um, we can represent with a graph a network connection, or maybe a river. How the water flows? Maybe we want to do an analysis of some kind to with water. So, what is going to happen this week is um, during the, I'm no. Well, Probably that one was wrong this week at the in the code sprint we're going to be releasing 3.2, 3.4. So yeah. Uh, sorry. So we're fine. Wait. This so is a team made uh, team presentation. So version 3.3.2 will be released during the sprint. This code sprint. And on September, we're going to release 3.4. And not so soon, maybe in 2024, we're going to have version 4. If you're using PG routing, please pay attention on these new mini releases because we're deprecating functions that will be removed on version 4. But you will have these two years to start adjusting your code. Because 
Many are breaking changes, like change of the name and change of the output. Especially we want to standardize the output. Right now, if you're executing a one-to-one -one function, then you get certain number of columns with certain names and one-to-many, it's a different column set. So we want to standardize that so that moving from one function to another can be easier and you know that the output is a standard so everything will have this, not everything, but let's say put by set of functions, they will have the same output set in terms of column names. So let's talk about the functions. We have a classification which is Official, proposed, and experimental. Experimental functions are newly created functions that we want the users to start playing around with them, to try to find um, bugs, especially. So it's handled with care. Proposed functions are the ones that are going to go into official, probably next major release, okay? So they are usable, they can change a little bit, but basically they're going to go to the next major release. So it's a pre-official kind of functions, and the official ones that most of the time don't change, but for version four, as I tell you, because of especially Dijkstra, which is the one that it's widely used, um, that one is going to be like, okay, there's that release and we need to change. It's going to be the key one and most difficult one to handle. So, PG Rounding has grown so much and when I started with PG routing, there was basically the one-to-one -one version of the function Dijkstra. And of course, the set of functions was like 12 instead of 70 something. So now we have these overloads, one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, many-to-one, many-to-many, and combinations. So the first four are kind of, um, to simplify, uh, a request when there is, you can make many requests at once. In PG routing, the problem is that we need to build the graph in a, to be a, in memory to be able to do the processing. So it's, if you wanted to do 100 queries with a one-to-one, -one, it was going to load the graph 100 times. So these other overloads, it's load the graph once and execute as many queries as you want. The latest one that was added is combinations, which says that I went from one to two and three to four, but you don't necessarily need the one to three or the one to four, which is the one many to many kind of matrix thing that it does with the four above. So basically these are the overloads. And we also divided the PG routing functions into families. So there is a set of functions in all the families, okay? Um, we will see little details. Uh, we have some families that are not quite yet official, but they are still, they are there, which is with points, which is widely used, but it has an issue there, so um, I cannot move it to official while that issue that it's well known is not solved. Uh, we have coloring, which were created by Google Summer of Code students last year, and also several ways to traverse the graph. 
And we also have categories. The categories that you can see here, um, basically, for, for example, Dijkstra, you will find a Dijkstra cost. So you will kind of see as a suffix to the base name of the function, and then you know, oh, it belongs to this category. So talking about standardizing the results, basically, is the functions in each category should return the same set of columns, OK? Um, so let's talk about what's in P routing now, because we have 70 plus functions, including the overloads. So in all pairs, there are two types of algorithms. And as you can see here, we're starting to name the algorithms by the, well, by, by the creator's name, OK? So you can have PGA star we have with cost and cost matrix. BDA star, bidirectional A star, bidirectional Dijkstra, Dijkstra, um, Dijkstra via, via near, near cost, they are proposed. They're not yet official, but they work pretty nice. Uh, KSP and driving distance are based on Dijkstra. Uh, so, we have with points, cost, with points, cost matrix, with points, via. So you can see that they belong. Each family ha has, has a function in many categories. Uh, TRSP. Ah, this one is uh, key. This one has a new, has it, it has changed. Um, it has the new structure of how the data is going to come out. More or less, it's already standardized in version 3.3. And we changed the names. Um, so there's more overload. So watch out for this one. People like it. And these are um, proposed now. The official one is sending you to the proposed ones in the documentation. So we have about connection. This is for traversal. We have cross-call algorithm, prim algorithm. We have flow functions that work for flow of cars, flow of water, flow of electricity. When you want to design something like um, the, the water pipes for a city, you can use these ones. We can contract graphs. Um, we can do several types of traversal, solve different kinds of coloring problems. Um, topology. The topology functions are going to be just reduced. They are going to be um, deleted, basically on version 4. Only for the moment, these, these ones are go the ones that are going to be surviving, which are new functions. I did write the ones that are going to be deleted, but the times have changed. Back then, first of all, I was new with using SQL and all that stuff, so knowledge makes you a little bit wiser. And the other functions changed the database structure, added indexes, and that part we're going to start leaving to the user. We're going to have auxiliary functions that can do like the skeleton that you can copy paste and start working on how I would create the function that will add my index maybe. But we are not going to do that change of structure of the database starting on ver version four. So it will be nice for you to see the documentation the, especially the PGA routing concepts, because it's starting to, I'm starting not to use create vertices table and create topology. They're not being used anymore in the documentation. 
they're mentioned there because that's been there still, but they will be removed on version four, okay? Uh, so you can see those are going to be deprecated. On the deprecation happens on version three point something, and the removal it's on version four. And remember, it's they will still be there for two more years. So you will have time to start reviewing whatever you're doing and keep on routing. <laughs> <laughs>